I am from Northampton. So I was very in tune to what they were doing and decided to apply before I even knew if this program was going to start or not. And then once I found out there was going to be an engineering program at the college down the street that I was so familiar with, um, it seemed like a no-brainer to accept and, and become part of it. I studied engineering uh, not because I was good at science or math and I had thought about it for a long time because I certainly did not. In high school I was heavily involved with um, liberal arts and speech and debate and dance and performance and I kind of got by in the math and science. Well I studied engineering um, I guess when I was in high school my father is an engineer and my brother was studying engineering at University of Massachusetts and I kind of didn't know what I wanted to do but had that you know attraction to math and science and my dad really thought you know an engineering degree you can do anything with an undergraduate degree is sufficient to get a job you could also go on to you know you go to medical school if you wanted to or you could go to some other graduate degree and you know it's a good base education so I kind of started thinking about engineering and looking into engineering schools when I was in high school. I always really enjoyed math and science and you know my mother She's a science teacher. She's a you know, sixth grade science teacher, and so she always got me interested in those sorts of things. And I knew I didn't, and which is terribly ironic. I didn't want to do math because I didn't know what to do with it except for teach. So I was like, well, engineering seems like a nice place to apply math, and that's how I got started. And that was a long time ago. That was ten years ago. Ultimately, I thought engineering had a lot to do with math and science, and that's something that I excelled at in high school. And it. So ultimately that's what drew me to engineering and when I got here I realized that engineering was so much more than that. So I think I became even more attracted to the field when I realized that, that it had so much to do with everything that's in our world. I work at an engineering firm um, called Mazzetti National Sea Birch. We are a three-service um, consulting design firm. We do mechanical, electrical, and plumbing. Um, right now, I have a job offer for a faculty position uh, at Arizona State University um, in their, uh, at the Polytechnic campus uh, in their Department of Engineering, and it's a, a multidisciplinary engineering program. The group that I work in is heat recovery steam generators, so uh, my job is uh, basically to des design and to analyze um, the equipment we use, the materials we use, um, the performance both the, you know, the temperature output and the uh, pressure of the boiler. I currently am working for Boriana Mikic in her research lab here on campus. I, I started working for Boriana as a student and did an undergraduate thesis for her and that turned into the work that I'm doing with her now. The, the Picker Engineering program gave me a, a great um, technical education, so I've been able, very competitive with my peers in graduate school in terms of my technical background, but in addition to that, I've also had this liberal arts education, so I, I have more of a breadth to draw from. So this whole idea of tying the liberal arts into engineering and, and really making humanities a, a cohesive part of the program was, I, I think, really unique and different, um, and what made this program special. I liked that vision, I liked that idea. Uh, I think being in the first class at Smith was such a unique experience and having some ability to change the program and give our opinions and have them was heard, it, it wasn't like other um, students I knew in engineering programs at traditional uh, schools. So I think it was just, it was very exciting. It helped, you know, kind of drive you through a difficult program. It was fun, you know, we, we hoped it succeeded, it, you know. I. I felt very confident that it would, but it was a very exciting time. My favorite memory it was a program through NASA and we were able to perform experiments on uh, um, the Vomit Comet or the, their uh, weightless wonder and we performed experiments in microgravity and I got to be weightless for <laughs> short intervals of time. The program here is a general or engineering science program, so you dabble in the three main disciplines. So I was well prepared to enter the field, but no, it's not like I was an electrical engineer. I had to learn some electrical to be able to, to do it. I do think that the Picker program has really taught me to see engineering as something more broad than just the science and math pieces of it, and um, that's one thing that I really value with the Picker program here at Smith. I had great relationships with my 
uh, professors, so they were more mentors to me than just professors. And because of that, I think I, I really grew as a, a student and an engineer. Uh, I think being in the first class at Smith was such a unique experience. It wasn't like other um, students I knew in engineering programs at traditional uh, schools. Just from feeling so moved by having a chance to stand with these you know, 19 other women that I'd worked so hard with for so many years and so many late nights and walking home at four in the morning in the winter um, and just looking at each other and saying we did it and looking around at all of our friends who are seated still next to us and seeing them swell with joy and pride as well that Smith had graduated the first class of all women engineers.